Okay, in our topic today, we look at the circuit quadrilateral, and the learning objective is to find the size of angles in circuit quadrilateral, and these are the keywords we have. So before we embark on this, as students need to have covered and understood angles in a circle, tangent, and the diameter of a circle with this are what we have done before okay now in this case say that any quadrilateral whose vertex lies on a circle is called a cyclic quadrilateral now this is a quadrilateral it has four shape and all the angles lies on the circumference of the circle so since all the angles lie on the circle, we call it what a cyclic quadrilateral. Now look at this now. With this shape inside the circle, this also is a quadrilateral. It has four shapes, but you can see that only three sides lies on the circle. This four part did not lie on the circle, so this one is not a cyclic quadrilateral. We cannot call this. And also this one, only three of the angle lies on the circle so these two are not uh, a cyclic quadrilateral in a cyclic quadrilateral the first angle must be on the circle okay now let's look at this note this that first opposite angles of a cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary that the opposite angles sum up to 180 and important also that the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to opposite interior angle the exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle okay let's look at this in this case we have that a is opposite b so a plus b is equal to 180 degree that is opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral okay so in that case also c is opposite d so we can have that c plus d is equal to 180 degree so these two are the opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral that's what this to give us now look at this e we can see that in this case c is the angle that is opposite the e that's why we say that the exterior angle, this is the exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral, is equal to the opposite interior angle. This is opposite interior angle. So we have that C is equal to what? E. That is the exterior angle. The exterior angle is equal to opposite interior angle of a quadrilateral. Okay? okay. And we can have, or we can say that D plus e is equal to 180 angle on a straight line okay now let's look at some of the example here we are asked to find the size of the letter angle in of this uh, circle so in this case we have this to be first i'll have that 59 and the z are opposite uh, angle okay so we have this that z plus 59 is equal to what 180 degree that is what that is opposite angle of a cyclic quadrilateral that's reason okay so we subtract 59 from both sides we have that z is equal to 180 minus 59 okay so our z gives us 180 minus 59 we give us what what do we have okay that gives us one two one so z is 121 degree that's the value of uh, our z okay now next we look at angle a single angle the opposite is what is x okay so how can we find this okay we say that look at it that the exterior angle 
is equal to the opposite interior angle. We already got that. The exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle. That means that what? X is equal to 105 degree. Because the exterior angle is equal to the opposite interior angle. We get that, okay? Now, how can we ask? We have that Y plus X is equal to 180. The opposite angle of a quadrata. So, Y plus X is equal to 180 degree opposite angle of a quadrata. So, and X is 105. Okay? So, we have that Y plus 105 is equal to 180 degrees. So if we subtract 105 from both sides, we have this. Okay. So Y simply gives us a 180, 180 subtract 105. So that gives us what? 70. Five, okay, so y gives us 75 degree. Now we have obtained our x. We have obtained our x and y and z. Okay, that's how we solve this. Now let's quickly look at another example. Now in this example here, look at this. We have the inside to be the. We have two double shape here. This inside gives us the quadrilateral and the outside angle is a triangle you see it okay now uh where can we start from okay let's start from the known to the unknown we know that this plus this is equal to what is equal to what 180 that's fine because they are opposite angle of a quadrilateral so that gives us that k we have that k Okay, we have that K plus what? K plus 85 is equal to 180 degree opposite angle of uh, a quadrilateral. Okay, so that gives us that subtract 85 from both sides. We have K is equal to 180 minus 85. So 180 minus 85 will be what? Let's see it. 180 minus 85. We have that to be what? 95. So K is 95 degree. Okay. So since we have obtained our K to be 95 degree. Okay. Now look at also. We can note that N is equal to what? 85. N is equal to 85. That gives us exterior angle is equal to opposite interior angle. Okay, so we have already gotten this. Or we can say that this and this is 180. Since we have obtained the subtract 180, we get this. That's it. Okay, now what next can we find? Okay, now we can look for T. Since that both T, 85 and 30 lies on a triangle. So we know that the sum of the angles in a triangle is 180. That means I will have that T plus 85 plus 30. That is sum of angles in a triangle. Okay. Is equal to 180 degrees. Sum of angle in a triangle. Okay. So we have that T plus, if I sum these two, what do you have to check? Uh, 85 plus 30. That gives us what? 115. So we have 115 is equal to 180 degree. Okay. Now subtract 115 from both sides. We have 180 minus 115. So 180 minus 115 is what 180 minus 115 that gives us what 65 okay so our t 
is uh, 65 degree. Is there another thing we need to find? Okay, U. Now look at T and U are opposite. So they are the opposite angle of a quadrature. So we have that to be, okay, let me solve it here. We have that to be T plus U is equal to 180 degree opposite angle of a quadrature. And, but T is 65. We have 65 is equal to uh, 65 plus 65 plus u is equal to 180 degree so if we subtract 65 from both sides we have 180 minus uh, 65 so 180 minus 65 we give us what the u is equal to what 180 minus 65, we still give us 115. 180 minus 65, still 115. So U is 115 degree. So that's how we obtain that. We have find our value of N, K, N, T, and the U. Okay? Now let's quickly look at this last one. In this case here, we are asked to find the letter uh, K, P, and uh, M. Find the letter K, K, P, and the uh, M. Okay. So if we ask to find the letter there, in this case we have this to be. Okay. Let's look at this. You can see that this angle here at the circumference is the vertex here and this angle here both of them are from the same segment so since both of them are from the same segment the angles are equal so we have this that uh, k is equal to 65 degree both angle comes out from the same segment okay then next we have to find we look okay look at this also this is a quadrature this is a quadrature that means that k plus m is equal to 180 degree k plus m is equal to 180 degree sum of angle of a quad uh, opposite angle of a quadrature so opposite angle of a quadrature is supplementary okay so we have this k already is uh, 65 we have 65 plus m is uh, 180 degree okay so we subtract 65 from both sides we have m is equal to 180 degree minus uh, 65 so what do we have check 180 minus uh, 65 that gives us what 115 okay so we have our m go be 115 degree okay what next we look at we have obtained k and m so we look at p now when you look at p this is a little bit confusing you cannot say that p and uh, plus 82 is 180 no because we cannot say that there are or opposite angle no when you look at this uh shape this quadrature here you can see that we need to find this angle so that it will be opposite to what to p now if you look at this quadrature also in this one we can see that these angles here are the angle that is opposite to what 82 because we are considering this quadrature here see that so don't be confused here so we have to get this angle so for us to get this angle that means 23 plus p that is angle that is opposite to this so we have this to be 23 plus p plus 82 is equal to what 180 so we can solve this to obtain our answer okay so if we have if we have 23 Okay, after solving this you can 
make P and obtain your answer. So that's how.